Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the exponent and logarithm functions in MATLAB. So let's create a new script and let's say I created a script and saved it with the name sample.m. Here I'm going to create my first exponential. I'm going to use y equals to exp and then i into pi. Okay. So if I output this, then what will happen is it will print out the value of y which is exponential value with real and imaginary number here okay so after that you can go for a log function so let's say i want to find out log of let's say minus one if i execute this it should give me the value Okay. Similarly, you can change this to something else. Let's say log of 4 and you get the value. Okay, so uh, when you are doing the exponential, you make use of exp method. In case of log, you use log method. Similarly, there are multiple log methods or functions. Okay, for example, we have logged in and here you can simply pass, let's say, real max and execute this and get the value for real max with uh, base 10 to your log okay similarly you can get log to the base 10 for eps value and you get the minus 15.63 now similarly what if i want to have log 1p here uh, let's compute log 1 plus x for value of x so something like x is equal to 4 and I want to use y equals to log 1p and here I'm using x okay now if I execute this it should show me the value 1.6094 and as you can see here you get that value similarly I can have log to the base 2 before that Let's say I have a value of x equals to pi, okay, and then y equals to, let's say, log 2 of x, okay, and then if I run this, we get value for our y, 1.6515, okay, you can change this to EPS value and run this and you get minus 52 value for your y okay so we have seen exp function log function log 10 function which is logarithm to base 10 then log 1p and then log 2 and then there is one more function which is real log which is natural log for your non-negative and real arrays so for this let's use one matrix and let's create one with magic method 4x4 four four. and so we use real log and pass our 4x4 four four matrix let's find out real log for this matrix and you can see this is the output that we get when we use real log okay so this was a short introduction on some of the functions that you, you can use for exponents and logarithms in MATLAB.